So I'm here working on my 94 Yukon. It has a throttle body 350 in it. And I suspect this motor might be worn out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do a compression test. This is a compression tester. It's a pretty simple one. There's ones that come with a lot more adapters than this. This one just has like two different threads on there and then one adapter. And this is pretty straightforward. Um, what I've done is I pulled all the spark plugs out of the motor so the engine freewheels easier. And the other step you have to do is you have to disable the spark somehow. That one will come on a ladder, but if you look down there, you can see it, I unplugged the coil. So now the, the engine won't start. Not that it would have anyway, no spark plugs in it, but it's not going to try and spark or any kind of weirdness like that. So now we can go ahead and what you do is you uh, thread these compression tester in the one spark plug at a time and you take readings on each cylinder. Okay, I have the hose this, uh, threaded in the cylinder. This comes off the actual gauge. And we'll see if I can be fancy here and do it one handed. But there is a quick disconnect. It's actually like an air hose fitting on the end of this gauge. Look at that. Now you're on there. So, this gauge shows your cranking PSI for the cylinders. Now if I can put this thing stationary here, somewhere. Hey, there we go. Now I'll go inside the truck and I'll crank on it and we'll see what it goes up to. I normally let it, uh, you'll hear it like hit like three times on compression. Normally after three revolutions you'll uh, have like your max reading for the gauge. Okay, you'll see on that cylinder we got like, I don't know, 149, 148 PSI. It's actually really good. Wasn't expecting that. So what you want to do is you want to write this down on a piece of paper by cylinder. In this case, a uh, small block Chevy goes 1, 3, 5, 7 on this side and 2, 4, 6, 8 on the passenger. And uh, we'll compare them all at the end and see how this engine does. Okay, here's the results. So down the left bank, we got 149, 149, 130, 155, whoa. And down the passenger side, 130, 130, 130, and 145. So something I'm going to try in those cylinders that were 130 is you can put a little bit of oil in the cylinders and then redo it. And if the compression goes up, then you know you're losing compression to the rings. So that's what I'm going to do next here to see what happens. Well, there's the answer to that. Uh, put three pumps of oil in the motor from this little oil squirter here right in the spark plug hole and now it's like 155 pounds or something and that cylinder was at 130 before so it looks like maybe my rings are a little bit beaten this thing I couldn't do the other cylinders because the battery went dead. It's been sitting a week and the battery was weak. I had a jump pack on it, but it's not enough, so I'm charging the battery up. But I'm kind of expecting the same thing to happen out of those cylinders. So uh, I guess we'll see what I'm going to do with this. But there's how you do a compression test. Hope you enjoyed it.